might be smarter, your family might come from privilege, your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. me. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. You know that one when you lose and you ain't got no sportsmanship? You know that one? Normally, you know, you lose, you just man up. You, you don't want to shake their hand, but you do it anyway, because that's a part of the game. But when you get so, when you get so tired of losing, when you get pissed, when you can't take losing no more, you lose the whole little shaking the hand and you just walk off. And Mike walked off with a tear in his eye. And let me tell you something. He walked off and said to himself, this will be the last time the Pistons ever beat me again. So you got to stop telling people you wrote a book and you got to start saying you're an author. You got to promise me when I give it back, you give me something. So she's like, all right, cool. She took the jewel and she said, what do you want from me? And he said, what I want from you is whatever was inside of you that allowed you to get this to me. It's a different mindset. It's a different mindset. Whatever's in you that allowed you to be willing to get that to me. Worst thing in life is not to be broke. The worst thing in life is to take some success and then you gotta go back to being no life. That's hard. If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24. Once you understand how valuable time is, that's it, listen to me, that's it, you get 24. I don't care if you broke, you grew up broke, I don't care if you grew up rich, I don't care if you're in college, you're not in college, you only get 24 hours. We talk about opportunities, yeah, you, you, you right here in it. And the difference between those of you who will succeed and those of you who will fail, you're not taking advantage of your opportunities. You partying, you smoking, you drinking, you listen to me very closely. I have guys come to me all the time, you know, ET, you what you trying to say, something wrong with smoking weed. When you become successful, you don't ask what's wrong with something, you ask what's right with it. I'm here to tell you today, if you got somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me, I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flips, you can be excited when we give away money, but listen to me, you'll never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. I'm here to tell you today that the reason why God is allowing you to go through what he's allowing you to go through, because you've been too smooth and you ain't going as far as he needs you to go. And so God is allowing you to go up the rough side of the mountain, not so he can hurt you or break you, but God's trying to change the, he's trying to redesign you. Get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad, you just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. When you have something good, you don't play with it. You don't take chances with it. You don't take risk with it. When you got something good, you get every single thing you can get out of it. Because guess what? When you take care of something good, that something good takes care of you. You might be smarter, your family might come from privilege, your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. You will not have more drive than I have, more passion than I have, and I'll beat you every single day because I got passion. You will not wake up in the morning because you spoil. You will not get up before eight. You will not get up before six. I will out-rep you. You push up every day I'm going. I'm doing more and more each day. I'm trying to do them until I can't do them no more. I'm doing sit-ups every day. I will outwork you. Some of you need to give up your cell phone because the time you spend on your cell phone could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, you're using it on the cell. And the cell phone is not bringing you nothing but a bill. And somebody has told you you couldn't live without it. I'm talking about going deep now, giving up stuff. Watch what it says. To be able at any moment to sacrifice what we are for what we could be. Class one, listen to me. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, 
or an hour or a day or even a year but eventually it will subside and something else will take its place if I quit however it will last forever stuff you're spoiled we're gonna keep it real tonight some of you are spoiled brats every time you ever got in trouble somebody in your house got you out of it Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home. I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't going to die. At the end of pain is success. You're not going to die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go to the next level. Because if you keep eating like you ate at home, you'll keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman.